This video will review how to view your students' work on submissions that they have submitted in to any activity that receives a score in any My Language Lab course. The examples shown in this video apply to any My Language Lab course. You have multiple ways to view submissions from your student. We'll first walk through how you can view submissions from your gradebook to view a single submission and to view all submissions for an activity. At the end of this short video, there will be a best practice and tip that will show you a trick on how to view submissions even quicker inside any My Language Lab course. Let's begin. When you navigate to a chapter folder or lesson and are in the Student Activities Manual, you will be able to see grades of the work also done on the machine graded activities. You can hover your mouse over any grade and use the option arrow to either edit the score if you would like to manually override a score or if you would like to view the submission of that particular graded assignment for that student. The highest grade is the grade that is recorded in the gradebook automatically. And so if your student submits an activity more than one time, the highest grade of any attempt will be the one that's scored and recorded in the gradebook. And when you hover your mouse and do view grade submission, you will see the work of the student for that particular highest score to review my students work. I can see any feedback that was provided to them and when you are reviewing students work you also get an annotated edition where it will let you know where the correct answer should have been. The student may or may not see the correct answer indicator depending on what settings you have set up in your My Language Lab course. For the student automatically the student will not see this correct indicator until after their third try. As an instructor, when you're viewing any submission by a student, you will always be told what the correct answer is. Think of this as an annotated instructor edition. But you will always also see your students' real comments and answers. Also, at the top of the activity window, you also have another options arrow that can give you more options about that particular activity. One of the most popular options from this drop-down arrow is a place called View All Submissions. This will allow you the ability to view all the different attempts by your students for that particular activity. And this is like your best friend in the course. If you ever would like to just take a look at and see how your students are doing on a particular activity and review their multiple tries, you will then get your list of all your students on the left and be able to see their highest score in the main box. Notice if a student has done the activity, you'll see a plus sign next to their name. If you click the plus sign, you'll be able to review if they have multiple submissions, see their individual scores, the time and date that they submitted them, and you'll be able to click on one of them to see that student's particular answers on that submission. Their name will appear at the top, the grade that you're looking at will be displayed here, and if you would like to see the directions, you can click the plus sign and the directions will expand, including any audio. You can see the total time the students spent, which is in hours and minutes. And you will also be able to see which submission you're looking at. So this was one out of two submissions for the student. Notice you can edit the grade from here. So if you did want to uh, revise the score, you could do so by clicking Edit. As a default, in your course, students will have unlimited attempts at the Student Activities Manual Activities. So unless this has been changed by a course coordinator or by you as an instructor, your students will have unlimited attempts to try and complete activities. You can also view students' answers by questions. And so if you'd rather just see everyone's response to question number one, you can click on questions over here and click on question one and you'll see all your students' names listed here and then you'll be able to see their responses. And then you can click Save and Next and be brought to the next series of questions. At any time you can close and be brought back to your gradebook screen. To navigate to a different place in your gradebook or to go back to the top of your gradebook you can click the My Course button or use this drop down arrow choose My Course to take you back to the main area of your gradebook or jump into another chapter. For a best tip in practice on viewing your students submissions Inside any My Language Lab course, we wanted you to always be at least one click away from your student's work. So wherever you are in your course, you can always hover your mouse and view a submission. Even from your calendar, you can go to your calendar 
And on any day on your calendar, you can hover your mouse over an assignment or an activity, click the options arrow, and choose View Submissions. This is a shortcut to the same place you would go in your gradebook. Click on View Submissions, and the same exact content would load here that would load from your gradebook. You can see how many submissions the student has, and you would see all students in your course here. And you could select a student, select a submission to view, and review what they put in for answers. You can close and then go to another submission to view. You can also do this from inside your course via the assignments calendar or even course materials. Inside, you can put your mouse over any activity and choose view submissions. You can also do this from course materials. Navigate to an activity and from there hover your mouse over the activity and choose view submissions. One last tip is that if you'd like to look, go to where this activity is located in your gradebook, you can always choose the view grades option, which also follows you around the course. Most instructors tend to use the view submissions button as it quickly gives them their students work and they don't even have to go into the gradebook. This can also be done from any of the alerts on the today's view as well. You'll always be able to view submissions. Thanks for listening to this best tip in practice. This concludes an overview on how to view submissions of your students work in any My Language Lab course.